In 2020, it was reported that Jersey Shore star JWoww purchased a new family mansion for nearly $2 million. While she upgraded her digs, Jenny still kept her New Jersey roots and now lives in a home in the Holmdel area. Prior to this, she and her ex lived in a Tom's River home, which they sold back in 2019 for about $1.3 million. And today, we'll be checking them out. We even found the listing. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jenny Farley, known to many of us as JWoww, is a TV personality who rose to fame as one of the eight main cast members in the MTV series Jersey Shore. She's also a main cast member of its spin off series, Snooki and JWoww, which is pretty obvious. And since 2015, the best friends took their series to the web with Snooki and JWoww Moms with Attitude. At the time of this recording, JWoww has amassed herself a net worth of over $4 million and it's no doubt she's still making bank from the Jersey Shore franchise and her more recent projects as well. While she stayed in New Jersey, JWoww moved on from her former family home in Toms River early last year. She bought her current mansion for $1.95 million which boasts features like a gorgeous swimming pool out back, six bedrooms and landscaped grounds. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out the New Jersey homes of MTV star Jenny JWoww Farley. If you liked this video, be sure to check out other recent drops like the one we just did on her bestie Snooki. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Back in 2019, Jenny finally sold the home she once shared with her ex-husband for $1.35 million. She bought the home in 2011 for $685k and listed it in 2017 for $1.5 million only to remove the listing for a while in 2018. This beautiful mansion is located in the Toms River area of New Jersey and situated on just over one acre of land. Built in 2001, the home is described as offering coastal Jersey living at its absolute finest. You may be surprised to know Jenny didn't always live in New Jersey, only living in Long Island before getting a part on the J Shore series, and she actually grew up in New York. Either way, she's decided to stay put here. During the success of Jersey Shore, JWoww left the boardwalk and rowdy roommates behind for the most part, settling in this stately home to raise her family. The mansion spanned over 7,000 square feet of space and boasted six beds and six baths over three spacious levels. Her former home was fit for a fist pumping queen and had all the elements necessary for a GTL day inside. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. One of the highlights was definitely the massive and gourmet kitchen that offered two islands, custom cabinets, Italian granite and high-end appliances. Even bonuses like a built-in espresso machine. You already know JWoww would have taken advantage of this space when hosting some big family dinners. The entryway had double height ceilings with a chandelier overhead as well as large windows for a ton of light. There's also a double height great room that had stairs to the upper level and features like a flat screen TV, while nearby there was a formal dining room with bold red walls. You could see Jenny's touches throughout the mansion including family photos lining the walls in nearly every room, even in the hallways leading to the exercise room and tanning room. There was a games room or billiards room with bar, and another attraction in her abode was the conservatory that doubled as a home movie theater. Here, there were marble floors and an HD projection system. JWoww's former master suite was decorated with a ton of opulent details and a gold color scheme, while a space had a sitting area in one corner, an ensuite bath with glass, shower, and jacuzzi tub. As you might expect from the Jersey Shore star, her mansion had all the features necessary for a GTL or gym tan laundry day at home. Not only was there a home gym, but JWO actually put a tanning salon in her house. Sadly, the tanning bed didn't seem to be for sale with the home. Her former backyard was a party paradise with covered terraces to dine and entertain, even featuring a pool house with full kitchen, TV, and more. Elsewhere, there were fire pits, a sauna, and of course, a stunning pool with fountains, a water slide, and spa. These days, JWoww was living in a gorgeous mansion located in the Holmdale neighborhood of New Jersey, which she bought for $1.95 million in 2019, and it sits on 2.5 acres of spacious land. 
Her new house was featured a lot on more recent episodes of Jersey Shore as well as on her YouTube channel. It was renovated down to every last detail using the finest custom finishes and according to listing materials, no expense was spared. Jenny's luxurious home offers six beds and six baths, much like her last residence, and you can see the attention to detail right when you arrive at the house. There's a sprawling paver driveway and an opulent front entrance, while on one side there's a three-car garage. The double height entry hall has a large window overhead and sparkling chandelier along with dark hardwood flooring and a curved staircase leading to the upper level. To one side, there's a formal dining room with room for 10 or more guests and a rustic yet modern wooden table. JWoww has a huge gourmet kitchen which we've also seen in some of her cooking videos with great counters, white cabinets and stainless steel appliances. There's also a butler's pantry with wine fridge. The great room is stunning and maybe my favorite common space of all, boasting a double height brick fireplace, walls of windows and soaring ceilings. Elsewhere, there's a cozy den with chic leather furnishings and another casual eating space next to the massive kitchen. If that's not enough, a room on the main level has been turned into a home school of sorts, with space for children to learn with two side-by-side -side desks built into the wall and cubbies for storage right across. This will be perfect for JWoww if she wants her two children to have a space to study in quiet. There are plenty of bedrooms to choose from in the home and at this rate, even Jenny's young kids will be living in luxury. In fact, she's shown off her son Grayson's bedroom before, which has a superhero theme. Her master suite is definitely the nicest of them all, boasting a ton of space and an impressive attached bath. The ensuite has a modern soaking tub situated on a platform, a mix of hardwood and tiled floors, as well as a separate glass shower. There are also double vanities and a wall of built-in wooden cabinets. Jenny's furnished basement offers a media room, billiards or games room, wet bar and of course a home gym because we can't forget about GTL. Outside the landscaping and lighting are straight out of a 5 star resort and the grounds have the best amenities you could find. There's a blue slate patio, covered deck with barbecue and grilling station, outdoor kitchen, fireplace and much more. You also can't miss the large in-ground pool and spa which is the main attraction back here, while other goodies include a children's playground and tennis or basketball court. JWoww's mansion is definitely an entertainer's paradise designed for easygoing living. Now that we've taken a look at the homes of Jersey Shore star Jenny JWoww Farley, I think that concludes our house tour. After checking out her former family mansion in Toms River, New Jersey and her current one in Holmdale, New Jersey, which did you prefer? While both the spacious homes were beautiful and had a lot of similarities, I may just have to go with her current one. I loved all the upgrades and details like the barn style doors and touches of hardwood throughout for a modern farmhouse vibe. But the pools at both of JWoww's homes were definitely showstoppers. What about you guys? What did you think? Also, if you watched our recent Snooki house tour, who do you think has better taste in real estate, Snooki or JWoww? I'm going to have to go with JWoww after today's video. Be sure to tell me your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.